Hi my reading friends, it's Sarah. Today I'm going to read the story Dust for Dinner. Dust for Dinner is written by Anne Turner. Jake and Maggie like their life on the farm. They help their papa in the field. But then the dust storms come and the crops are ruined. They decide to go to California. Let's go into those long ago days and see how the family braved the dust storm. Dust for dinner. Once we lived in a little house in a wide place. You can see the house is in a very big farm. There is nobody to be seen around. Mama had a radio and we loved to dance at night. Papa told me, you're growing like a weed, Jake. I am as tall as our corn, I said. You can see how Jake and Maggie are dancing. But one year, the rains stopped and the wind blew. We did not listen to the radio as much and we hardly ever danced. I wish our weed grew as fast as you, Jake, Papa said. Where did the rain go? Maggie asked. Papa just shook his head. We looked at the sky and worried. The wind blew dust into the house and into our faces. One night I said, we are having dust for dinner, but nobody laughed. The next day the sky was dark. Listen to that thunder, Maggie cried. The cows ran back and forth. Sam barked and howled. All the animals were also getting scared. A storm is coming, Papa shouted. Quick, help me put the animals in the barn. Maggie, don't forget Snowball, I said. Then a black cloud rolled over the land. Lightning flashed. Run for the house, Papa yelled. The dust stung my face. So little Jake is so surprised to see all these new things that are happening in his farm. Papa closed all the windows and doors, but the dust still blew inside. Nothing stops the dust, Mama cried. She gave us wet clothes to put over our faces. The storm sounded like a train roaring past. After a long time, the wind stopped. It's all over now, Mama said. How can we have a storm without rain? Maggie asked. It's a storm of dust, like a black blizzard, said Papa. Mama coughed and said, the rains will come back next year will be better. 2. Chapter 2. Sold. But the next year, it still did not rain. The corn and wheat were small. The trees looked like skeletons, Maggie said. There is not enough water to grow a leaf, I said. We were afraid. We had two more dust storms and five cows died. One night, Papa said, there is no money left. No crops mean no money. Will we have to sell the farm, I asked. Yes, said Papa, in an auction, just like our neighbors. Maybe things will be better in a different place, said Mama. Our neighbors went to California, said Papa. We will go too. There will be jobs and no dust. No dust in California, Maggie sang and we smiled. The day of the auction came, a black car drove up. It looks like a funeral, I said to Mama. She grabbed the radio and said, Quick, Jake, hide it in the hayloft. They can't take our music. When I came back, the ma man was selling Mama's rocker. Sold, said the man, and a stranger took it away. They're selling snowball, Maggie said, and rubbed her eyes. Sold, the man said, and Mr. Brown took Maggie's sheep and her cows away. Maggie and I went to the hayloft. It's not our farm anymore, I said sadly. We will leave tomorrow. At least they did not take Mama's radio, said Maggie. And we still have Sam, I said. 
Chapter 3 Moving The next day we packed. They could not take our truck. Papa said we own that. Jake, get our radio. They cannot have our music, said Mama. And Papa smiled for the first time that week. Jump in, Sam, Papa said. Maggie waved goodbye, but I said, who are you waving to? Everyone we know lost their farms and went west. When we get to California, will we eat dust for dinner? asked Maggie. Papa shifted gears and shouted, no dust in California. No dust in California, we sang and Sam howled on the high notes. We drove all day. That night we set up our tent beside the others near the road. Everyone is going west, said Mama. I miss our house, Maggie said softly. Me too, I said and hugged Sam. We left before the sun came up. Papa stopped at a farm down the road. He and Mama asked, can we milk your cows? You can pay us with food. That day they found work, other days they did not, and we had only bread and water to eat. What if Papa cannot find a job in California? I asked. Harsh said Mama, Papa will find a job. That night she said to Papa, maybe it's time to sell our radio. Not yet, said Papa, I will find something, let's wait a little longer. for trouble. Papa found some work along the way and we did not sell the radio. Three weeks later, Papa stopped the truck at a big farm. He knocked on the farmhouse door. We waited in the truck. Mama held my hand tight until Papa came back shouting. We have a real job. Maggie and I got out and danced. We laughed and sang. She'll be coming round the mountain. The next day, Papa worked in the orchard and Mama helped at the big house. Maggie and I fed the chickens. Be good, Sam, I said. Don't even look at those chickens. That night, we had meat for dinner and Mama sang to us. In the morning, Papa said, please fix the tent. The wind took out some pegs. When we were done, I looked for Sam. But he was gone. Suddenly, I heard a loud noise. Jake, the chickens, Maggie cried. We ran to the chicken yard, but we were too late. Sam had a rooster in his mouth. Oh, Sam, how could you? I cried. Later, Papa said sternly, the farmer told me either the dog goes or we go. How can we let Sam go? Asked Mama. He's all we have left of our old farm. Papa had to agree. Maggie and I sighed. Don't worry, Mama said as she hugged me. Papa will find another job. But Papa and Mama looked worried. I told Sam, Papa lost his job and it's our fault. What will we do now? Chapter 5. A House we packed our truck and left. We won't stop until we get to San Francisco, said Papa. I hear there are jobs there and no dust. We camped outside the city. California is crowded, Papa said. Everyone wants a job. These are hard times for all of us, said Mama. But you will find something. Every day Papa looked for a job. Every night he told us where he had gone. Mama made us do lessons all those long, slow days. One night Maggie sighed, will we ever live in a house again? Harsh said Mama, things will get better. When Maggie asked, but Mama just looked stern. Then one day Papa came home and said, sweets for the sweet. I have a job. I will be a watchman at a big store. He hugged us and gave us cookies. Even Sam got one. Will we have a house? Asked Maggie. We will have a house, said Papa. Mama said, and we will have music. We packed up our truck for the last time. Other people looked at us. They wished they had a job too. 
Papa dropped to a house with blue shutters. Oh, cried Maggie. There is a tree with leaves and there is no dust, I said. We hugged each other for a long time at the end of the song. Sam lifted his nose and howled. He knows we are home now, said Mama, and we smiled. As long as the family was together, they were happy.